All right, adventurers, welcome to All Play. We're here with more of the Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke. I found a replacement for the replacement for our team, and I think I'm going to speed run through reintroducing Team Snaps to Claps right now, all right? So let's see. I hope you got your listening ears on. Here's Tough, our leader, the Adamant Agron, with Rockhead for the ability. Here are the stats while it holds the experience share. And his moveset hasn't changed. Iron Tail, Mud Slap, Metal Claw, and Takedown. Level 45. Everybody's at level 45 today. Next up, we have Sure the Modest Wobbuffet. Shadow Tag is the ability. These are the stats while holding the Petra Berry. In the attack, Strength, Mirror Coat, Encore, and Counter. Hasn't changed. Next up, we have Mask, the Crit Master, the Jolly Spender with the own tempo for the ability. Uh, these are the stats while holding the black glasses. In the attacks, Double Edge, Dizzy Punch, uh, Faint Attack, and Hypnosis. What was that before? Psybeam, yes. Uh, I gave Mask Double Edge because it, it consistently deals more damage than uh, Psybeam. Uh, I've learned that if you use... Double edge five times, you are now at the most that you can use double edge without healing and without killing the Pokemon that's going to use it. it. It takes off a sixth of the user's health. Noted. Next up, we have Cute, the gentle Togepi, our HM slave. You'll see why we get to that name in a little bit. Uh, Hustle is the ability. It's holding the Soothe Bell. These are the stats. We need, we need that Soothe Bell to start working. We need it to start working very soon. Uh, the attacks, fly, double edge, dive, and yawn. I don't think Cute's going to see battle for a very long time, ladies and gentlemen. And then we have Leo, the calm Vulpix, with flash fire for the ability. These are the stats while holding the other shell bell. In the attacks, flamethrower, will-o'-wisp, roar, and confuse ray. Looking for um, a firestone. We need a firestone. Looking for firestone, we'll trade. And then Kippers, the Swampert. I'm actually going to go slow on this one because Kippers is brand new. Uh, I'm pretty sure somebody asked, why did we take the Nuzleaf out? Why did we take out Titan for the gym battle instead of taking out Kippers? Because I knew eventually we would need to switch into whoever we pulled out. And at that point, Kippers was still a Mudkip, not a Swampert. And not only that, I think it was at level 14, 15, something like that. I did not want to lose a, a potential Swampert because I knew I had to switch into something to use as a target so I could heal somebody else. So I said, no, we gotta, we're got we just going to hold off for a second. If we can hold off for one episode, we can make it out of here. Then we'll get Swampert out. So we have Swampert. Uh, I'm sorry, Kippers, the Jolly Swampert. Torn is the ability. It's holding a shell. Oh, I took the, I took the shell bell and gave it to him. There we go. <laughs> Those are the stats. And then we have Surf, Mudshot, Bide, and Takedown. It's not a bad move set. Could be way better, but it's not bad. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Team Snaps and Claps here in today. Okay. Why are we back at Lily Cove? I mean, I guess it doesn't truly matter where we serve from. What we have to do now is we have to go figure out what Team Magma is doing. Remember, they took the submarine, uh, which means they went below ocean, deep below the ocean, and they're they're at a they're they're at some 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 underground cave. Let's uh let's see if we can find them. Now we already got an encounter for. Let me see. Which routes did we get an encounter for already? We already got one for 126. We didn't do 127, I don't believe. Let me check the app. Let me check the app. 127? Actually, I don't think I noted it. All right. Let's go. I'm going to go take some notes, and I'll be right back. Let's see what we have. Okay. So our only encounter that we did catch was... Uh, 126 we still have the encounter for 127 correct yeah we do okay so we can do let's see let me look at the map one last time and compare notes let's make everything out in the open okay so we can do 127 that's really the only thing on our way I guess 128 maybe uh, 127 is on our way to where we need to get 
too. So let's see. Let's head that way. Let's head that way. Uh, we're probably gonna kill. If you want to be honest, we're probably gonna kill anything that we we've run up against. So we actually probably don't want to do combat. We don't want to do battle. Probably just want to let it ride out. Kippers, thank you, thank you for the ride. Okay, so this is the dark patches of water that Stephen was talking about. If we get to this dark patch, what we can do is go beneath the water with the help of cute. And then we are now underwater. Underwater is not its own area. Underwater does not count as its own area. We do not. We're not allowed to get any Pokemon underwater for any route that we're. Uh, we've already. Or uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that we've already caught something on. Don't get it twisted. A lot of people like to twist that rule. That, that's, that's not how the game works, ladies and gentlemen. I think I'm familiar with the exact area that we need to go to. Let's see if, we can, if I can find it. Because it's actually one of my favorite spots in all, in all of uh, the Pokemon universes. I shouldn't say universes. Uni uh, uh, regions. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, no. He prevents, air, he prevents escape. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's actually not good. Sand to him. Hold it tough. You should hold. You, you're doing all right, buddy. You're doing all right. Let's catch it with the takedown. Come on. Uh, come on. All right. Thank you. All right, tough. Just to prevent that from happening again, I'm taking you out of the front. I'm taking you out of the front, buddy. Let's see. We don't have anybody that, that actually is flying type anymore. Damn it. Damn it. All right. Here's what we're going to do. Here's how we're going to do it. We're going to head down this way. I see. I don't believe we're past the area we need to get to yet. All right. So we need to find Route 126. We're already, we already got our encounter here. We need to find an area that has like a long patch of dark waters deep waters i should say it's not that they're dark is that it's deep there's no light hitting uh the ground i believe this might be it here let's see let's dive below the waters below the waters yeah i think we might have oh no we're nearby we haven't found it but we are nearby let's make sure we're not in a new route yeah we won't reach a new route here if we go a little bit more to the right, we will. Let's see. Come on. And there's grass out here, so we can't encounter Pokemon. Let's see. I want to make sure I'm not in 127. That's what I'm trying to do. I don't want to bypass our encounter. A dive ball. Dope. A dive ball looks pretty cool. All right. This is still 126. They got Mudkip here. They got Mudkip here. They got Mudkip over in Moss Deep. Understandable. All right. I believe this is where we wanted to get to. Yes, this should be it. Let's head in. Let's go above the water. Above the water. No, this is not where we wanted to go. This is Sutopolis City. This is not where we wanted to go just yet. Interesting. All right, let's see. So we're in Sutopolis. Where is this cave? Where Where is this hidden cave to which we are attempting to enter? Back underwater we go. Back under the waters. All right, let's see. Let us see if this isn't the area we wanted to reach. Then where is? I'm gonna try. I want to try and do this without looking it up. I'm pretty familiar with this. Pretty familiar. All right. Let's see what we got. I should put on a repel. I think we'll be all right. Okay, where would this under underwater area be? 
I'm finding all the hidden stuff, that's for sure. Finding all the hidden stuff. You know, to be honest, that sprite looks dope. That sprite of, of surfing on the, the Pokemon. I know it's supposed to be a Wilmer. But on the Pokemon, that looks dope. Especially from the side view. Alright, I thought this was the area. Let's see. How about we go above above water? Let's go back above the water. Above the water. Alright, so it's not that long one. What about, is this the same? I think this might be the same one here. Let's see. I'll put on a pet, uh, 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 a super repel now. Because now we're, now we're where we can just encounter stuff all the time. So this is to Sutopolis here. This is the outside of Sutopolis. You can't get in unless you are underwater. Is this where I was before? When I dove before? I think it is. Let me see. Let's check. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, this is it. Okay. Let's go back. Okay, back here. Let's look at the map. Let's look at the map one more time. I don't remember. I don't remember where they said exactly we need to, not not where we need to go, but what route we need to go on to. I feel like it might be 126. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fly back to um Slateport City and we'll talk to we'll talk to Captain Stern. He's the one who gave us the mission. Oh, he's the one who informed us of our mission. So let's head back there. He should know what to do. He should know. I hope he doesn't think. I hope he doesn't think we're Luffy, because we can't remember what we need to do. Trust me, memory is my biggest. My biggest. Uh, uh, what is it? My my strongest character trait, I guess. Oh yes, Mister Briny came to our shipyard. It won't be long now before we finish making the ferry. What fair are you talking about? And why won't you tell us our mission? Okay, if he won't tell us our mission, and I can't remember our mission, and we can't just find our mission, I'm going to have to do some research. So give me just a hot second, all right? Sorry. Okay, so it turns out we were on the wrong route. Let's take a look at the map one last time here. We were on Route 126. We want to get to Route 128. So that's where we'll be headed. I think it's specifically... This this tile, uh, because this water is just standard water that you can surf on, but this water is water that you can dive under. So let's head back to, I guess the easiest way, I'm not sure if it counts it, but we can head to Sutopolis City, and if that doesn't work, then we'll head to Moss Deep, and it should be easiest to get to whatever route, or to get to the route that we want to get to. Uh, cute, if, we be, if you would be so kind, ah, uh, we can fly to Sutopolis, perfect, all right. It makes it a little bit easier. Here we go. All right, so here at Sutopolis, even though we didn't go to the Pokemon Center, that's weird. I always thought it was that you had to go into a Pokemon Center to be able to fly to any given city because that's what the game needs to know, that you know where you are. It's weird. I guess not. At least that's the case. That's at least the case during Red and Blue. And I think gold and silver. I'm pretty sure gold and silver as well. If you haven't gone to the Pokemon Center, you can't fly there. Okay, so we need to make our way to 128. Let's head this way. Am I, am I doing it right? If we're as far... Yeah, we just need to keep going to the right more. So let's see if we can... 127. Okay, so... If we do encounter something new here, we can catch it. Let's see. We gotta wait for the super repel to run out. Nope. Hang on. Let's get this encounter first, boy. We need to expand the. T no, no, we need to expand. Actually, yeah, let's dive underwater and catch stuff. We need to expand the team as much as we can right now. Yeah, it's this deep trench here. That's that should have been my giveaway. We need to expand the team as much as we can. Oh. It says we're switching from underwater to underwater. That's how we know we're on a different route. Uh, let's go back above water. 
There's no grass here. I am a clown. All right, the repel wore off. What's in 127? What we got? What we got? Taylor. Oh, no, another bird. It's not that I don't like birds. It's that, you know, you guys know what happens with birds on the team. Uh, let's put it to sleep first and foremost. Come on. All right, we can catch a Taylor. We can catch a Taylor. I'm just scared as to what will happen to that Taylor. Here's a great ball. It matches the color scheme. Ladies and gentlemen, we caught that Taylor. We caught that Taylor. Let's add it to the thing before I forget. Let's make. I want to make a habit of doing all this stuff on time. Taylo is the tiny swallow Pokemon. Taylo courageously stands its ground against foes, however strong they may be. This gutsy Pokemon will remain defiant even after a loss. On the other hand, it cries loudly if it becomes hungry. Okay, so this is Taylo. This is alarm. It will it will cry loudly if it gets hungry. This is our hunger alarm. He lets us know when he's hungry. <sighs> Another bird on the team. All right, so that's 127. Here's 128. What have we on 128? I know we got Pokemon here. Don't even. There we go. Don't even. We have uh, Need Arena, and it's level 32. That's dangerous. Come on, Mass. Come on, Mass. Oh, no. Put it asleep. There you go. There you go. That's good. That's good. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. And, oh, this is going to be hard. I know it is. Let's try an Ultra Ball. If this doesn't work, we're probably going to have to hit it one good time. All right. All right. I don't know if it took that as a threat or not. <laughs> Let's see. Let me put Need Arena in the, de in the uh, tracker as well. Let's see. Need Arena. There we go. Nidorina is the poison pen Pokemon. When Nidorina are with their friends or family, they keep their barbs tucked away to prevent hurting each other. This Pokemon appears to become nervous if separated from the others. Oh, yeah? Well, I guess I have the perfect nickname for you. Nidorina. This is Threat. Threat the Nidorina. Two, two wonderful catches today, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's continue on what we were trying to do. Dive under the water. All right, so now we're back at route the 128 area underwater. Let's see. If I'm not mistaken, where we're looking for is down this way and to the left. Yeah, there we go. All right, team snaps and claps. Uh, let's heal tough up. Let's heal tough up. Tough took a real hit there. All right, here we go. Yep, this is where we're looking for. This is the underwater area. They have the submarine. Let's go above the water. So they just parked the submarine, got out the water, and said, hey, we here. All right, so this is the sea floor, sea floor cavern. I'm putting you back up front, tough. Okay, we got to be careful here because there's underwater stuffs. We have a strength on the team. Oh, do we have rock smash, though? No, we don't have a Rock Smash on the team. And we actually need a Rock Smash for this area. Great. All right, who's getting this Rock Smash? <sighs> Cute, here you go. I mean, we either get rid of Double Edge or Yawn. I think Yawn is the one to get rid of here. We already have Mask with Hypnosis. Our Crit Master has Hypnosis, so we'll be good. We lose Cute. If we lose Cute, we're actually going to put a big hole in the team now. All right, Cute. I need you to be on, the, on your P's and Q's here. We're moving all this stuff out the way. Let's move that boulder. Let's move that one. He's going to want to fight. I ain't stupid. Oh, maybe not. All right, moving on. All right, let's push these boulders. Let's push all the boulders. 
Let's see, we need to move this one up, obviously. We can move this one to the left. If we move this one up, it's out of our way. Let's push this one to the right. C4 Cavern Encounter is a Glalie. I think we might kill it. I think we might kill it by mistake. Let's try Metal Claw. It's, it's going to go down. Protect. Okay. Okay, cool. Come on. Come on. Yeah. I figured. I figured the seafloor cavern encounter. The seafloor cavern encounter is no more. Let's go ahead and mark that off before I forget. Leveled up, though, buddy. Good job. Proud of you. Proud of you. All right, let's continue moving this boulder. Now that we got that out of the way, we can, uh, do we want to blow our last rappel here? Yeah, let's blow it right now. Keep the team safe. Break this boulder. Move this one up. Oh, I think, I know I wanted to go to the left, but I think we wanted to go to the right just for, just to pick something up. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. Okay, here is here's the grandest of messes. We need to navigate this this water puzzle. I'm not big on this puzzle. Most the puzzles that you can't see where you'll always end up or where you'll end up in the future, I'm not big on those puzzles. All right, so let's see. Naturally, we want to go this way. There's nowhere else we can go. For this part, do we want to go Oh, we can't go up. The only way we can go is to the right. So, let's continue there. Now here, I think we want to go to the left so we can get to that door. Nope, ended right back up. Like I said, not good. All right, so we want to go to the right then. Mm -hmm. Now if we go to the right, we're going to go down. And I think that's going to take us back. I think where that door will take us is to a room that will only take us back to the last room. It's probably going to take us out to that door to the right. So we're not going to go that way. Instead, we're going to go to the left. And now we're out. Another puzzle. Another strength puzzle. Let's save here. All right, let's see. Naturally, or obviously, we push this one upwards. Now let's see. I want to move this out the way altogether. Let's push this all the way to the side. Now let's see, we want to get to the right. We got to be smart here. We got to be strategic here. Let's see. This one's not so hard. Move this one up, this one up, and then this to the right and we're good. That's that's the minimal amount of movements there. Somebody tell Professor Layton I did it in the minimal amount of steps. Uh, we got to fight her, don't we? Who's up front? Who we got out front? Tough. Let's go for it, boy. <laughs> How did you manage to get here without a submarine? What an impressive child. But it won't do to have you meddling about here. And I do want payback for what happened at the Weather Institute. I'm going to give you a little taste of pain. Resign yourself to it. Here you go. Haven't heard that battle theme in a while. It's the Magma Admin Courtney. Who she got? She got a Scyther up front. Oh, boy. She's got a Scyther. Here we go. Catch you with the takedown. Swords dance. Oh, he set, uh, she's setting up. She's setting up. Oh, it held it. Oh, it held it. Oh, it's a slash. Come on, tough. <laughs> I was expecting a crit. Not going to lie. I was expecting a crit. Hold it, tough. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Who's up next? A Chansey. Oh, this going to be good. Here's a takedown. Come on. Bruh. Bruh, look at that. Go ahead, Tough. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you and all you've accomplished today. <laughs> 
Ouch! Courtney's crazy. Clearly. <laughs> you're so darn strong. It's terribly disappointing that you're not a Team Magma member. You could have enjoyed the fabulous world our boss has promised to one of our own. I don't want nothing to do with your world. Okay. Here's the puzzle. This is the puzzle that gets everybody on their first try. Will we, will we solve this or will we suffer just like those before us? Let's see. The trick is that we need to push. Okay. So there's four horizontal lines. The second horizontal line, the boulder that's in the middle, we need to push that one up once. If we push that up anymore, then we will fail this puzzle. So we can only push that middle, bo middle boulder up once. Let's see. All right, cute. Need your help. If you will be so kind as to. Oh, I'm sorry. This is this is Sure's job. I am so sorry, Sure. Let's push this one here, this one here, and this one here. Then we move this one once. Push these to the side. Move this up. This up and this to the left. Did it. If I can see the whole puzzle, then I'll be alright. Alright, there's a there's a mist here. They got fog here. So we need to be we need to save. We need to be on our toes, on our P's and Q's, because we have no idea what could happen right now. TM fifty. It's gonna be horrible. It's gonna be horrible. We already had one howl, and now we got another. Lord have mercy. All right. What troubles await us? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hold it right there. Foo, foo, foo. So it was you after all. Behold, see how beautiful it is, the sleeping form of the ancient Pokemon Groudon. I have waited so long for this day to come. It surprises me how you've managed to chase me here, but that's all over now. For the realization of my dream, you must disappear now. All right, Maxi, come get this work. Come get this work. All right, he sends out a Yanma against our tough. All right, tough, show him what's what. Uproar. All right, it did a whole one point of damage. Come on. Yeah. He's going to heal. He's going to heal and now I'm going to be upset. Oh, no, he's not. No, he's not. He's just going to take it. He's just going to take it. All right, fine. You bet. You bet. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, Metal Claw. Metal Claw. There you go. Good work, tough. Proud of you, big dog. All right. Next up is Ampharos. Why are you going to do this? Why you do this? That's my favorite. Uh, it probably has static. I would not be I would not be surprised if it has static. Kid up Kippers, are you ready to show off and show out? Come on. Thunder wave. Perfect. Good call, chill. Here's a mud shot. Hold this mud shot for us, fam. Almost. Almost the whole thing. Cotton spore. Is that attack or speed? I keep I keep I keep mixing that one up with something else. Here you go. I think it's feather. Feather feather something that I keep mixing that up with. Your super potion won't save you this time. Come on. Yeah! Yeah! Good work, Kippers. Next up. Bring them down. Steelix. All right. Let's watch this one. Quite literally. Yeah. Yeah. Don't let Tough know that we did that, Kippers. He would be hurt to know if you can do that in, in one to him. But good job. I, I lost the game. Yes, you lost the game. 
<laughs> I commend you. I must recognize that you are truly gifted. But I have this in my possession. With this blue orb, I can make Groudon. The blue orb suddenly began shining by itself. He gone. He just took off. He has somewhere to be. What? I didn't do anything. Why did the blue orb... Where did Groudon go? Hmm? It's a message from our members outside. You got signal down here, bruh? My phone cut off a while ago. Yes? What is it? Hmm? The sun is burning brightly? Good. That should have happened. That is why we awakened Groudon to realize Team Magma's vision of the amassing... Of the... Of expanding of the world's landmass. What? It's far hotter than we envisioned? It's so hot that it's dangerous? That can't be. That's just not possible. Hold your positions and monitor the situation. There's something wrong. The blue orb is supposed to awaken and control Groudon. But why? Why did Groudon disappear? Why? What have you wrought? Maxi, you've finally awoken Groudon, haven't you? What will happen to the world if this sunshine continues for all eternity? The world's seas will all dry up and disappear. What are you saying? The blue orb should let me control Groudon. That can't be possible. We don't have time to argue about it here. Get outside and see for yourself. See if you've see if what you've wrought is the world that you desired. Chill, come on. You have to get out of here too. Thanks, bruh. Bruh, it's bright as hell. I'm sweating. I don't know if that's because it's hot in here or if the game is actually taking effect. But boy, I'm sweating for real. <laughs> what happened? What is this wretched scene? Did I make a horrible mistake? I I only wanted. Do you understand now, Maxie? Do you finally see how disastrous your dream turned out to be? We have to hurry. We have to do something before the situation goes completely out of control. Chill. We, Team Aqua, have been pursuing Team Magma to prevent this from happening. You have been very helpful, but I feel the worst has happened. It's gone too far for a child like you to manage. Leave things to us and get out of here while you still can. This defies... Archie, Archie, Aqua, got it. This defies belief. A super ancient Pokemon. Its power is unbelievable. It has upset the balance of nature. They had somewhere to be too. Oh, oh, I'm about to say, what the hell is this? Chill, what is happening? This is terrible. If this doesn't stop all of Hoenn, no, the whole world will be parched. The cause of this calamity, the blazing sun, is in the sky above Sutopolis. What in the world is taking place there? There's no point arguing here. Sutopolis should provide answers. Chill, I don't know what you intend to do, but I don't do anything reckless. Okay, I'm going to Sutopolis. Me too. That's where we're going to be headed, ladies and gentlemen. We're, and then we're going to wrap up this episode. I'm seriously sweating. I need... Oh, my God. <laughs> I need some water. <laughs> we're going to wrap it up in Zootopolis. I'm sure the adventure will continue there, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed this episode of the Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke and would love to see more, then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. Now that's that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you can notify whenever a video uploads to the channel or whenever we do something special like a live stream. Thank you guys for checking this episode out and I'll catch you later with more here on Alt Play.